Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I was going to start this video with, um, this is a tweet that Ripple tweeted out today. And um, I'm going to butcher this university name real quick. Uh, Singhao University Institute for Fintech Research uh, just launched the Blockchain Research Scholarship Program. And uh, this guy gave, let's see, this guy is Eric van miltenberg he's the head of global operations for ripple gave a keynote at the kickoff event in beijing ripple's going to be supporting this initiative to develop blockchain talent in china and this is on this can only be big for ripple so that's a good thing um next i got this from uh, xrp crypto wolf german politicians argued that the country's blockchain strategy should include appropriate legal framework for crypto trading and token issuance that would encourage the sector's domestic development. The German government will introduce blockchain strategy mid-2019. This right here is really the most important thing in this whole thing. Uh, Germany is going to have their blockchain strategy ironed out in mid-2019. And that's big because Germany is one of the most respected financial centers in the world. And that to have them on board with blockchain is important. Um, next from C3 Nick. Now I touched on this, I believe, last week, but he uh, added a couple things in this tweet. Breaking ice, no pun intended. Um, price discovery for crypto market. The, this feed delivers real time and historical data for most widely and actively traded cryptocurrencies, covering 60 plus cryptocurrencies from leading venues, markets, and exchanges. And he's got the, uh, the ICE data, uh, cryptocurrency data feed there. <clears throat> um, this is um, Trezor Crypto Wallet devices have several vulnerabilities discovered by competitor Ledger Wallet. So this article, I'm not going to go into all the details of what they found, but it basically ledger the ledger people that do that created the ledger nano s they have a lab they call it the attack lab located in their paris headquarters um, and they evaluate security vulnerabilities not just with other people's uh hardware de hard devices but also with their own and this is how they test the ledger nano s to make sure that no nobody could hack it and so they've gone through, I don't have a Trezor, but those of you that own a Trezor, this is worth uh, going through. To f they, they said they found several vulnerabilities, not just one. Um, next, this is from Coinbase Support. We have now re-enabled sends and receives of ETC. That's Ethereum Classic. Please note that transactions may require 24 hours or longer to be processed by the network due to the large number of confirmations required. What this is related to is those 51% attacks, folks. So now what's happening is now that they've, this is a proof of work digital asset, now that it has been 51% attack, it could, uh, transactions may require 24 hours for a transaction to go through. That's crazy. <laughs> what they ought to do is just do a one-for-one -one swap with a better technology. If they're really thinking, that's what they would do. But the proof-of-work people, they are stubborn folks. I can tell you that. All right. This I got from XRP Wave Router, at XRP Wave Router. Um, and he sent me this. Um, a blockchain ETF is launching on the London Stock Exchange today. And this was from Invesco, I believe, yes. Um, Invesco Elwood Global Blockchain. Um, and what this is, is this is not a, an ETF that has digital assets in it. This is an ETF of, that includes companies that are in the blockchain space. It's a portfolio of 48 companies. Um, it says they include Taiwan Semiconductor, um, 
Bitcoin Futures Trading Operator, CME Group, South Korean Messaging App, KKL, um, Japanese Cryptocurrency Exchange, Monex Group. So uh, it's got Overstock in it, Signature Bank, and Square. So that's a blockchain ETF, but that, that just kind of shows you where all this is going. And um, finally, I wanted to show you this. This is cool. This guy, I, I've shown you the crypto man uh, in the last week or so because he was doing some really good uh, photos and painting. Up. I think he had a painting as well. You can go to his website at Crypto Man, C-R-Y-P-T-O-E-M-A-N.com. He apparently just came out with some, a new, uh, some new styles of socks. And so when he did that, this is why I'm showing you this is because I liked uh, this is marketing right here. He says, uh, breaking news, leaked text conversation between Brad Garlinghouse, Joel Katz and D Dalit Rao. Um, and it sh and he has a, a conversation here between them and they're asking each other, oh, he's got these new socks out. <laughs> and um, then one of the guys says, cool your jets. Yeah. Dalit Rao says, cool your jets. They're not available yet. They are. They are finally here. What is Crypto Man's new socks? And I think, as I recall, he actually sent some of these socks to Brad Garlinghouse, and, and they, you could see them in, in a video of Brad, Brad Garlinghouse on stage. He's got David Schwartz socks now. Um, let's see if he's got Brad socks. I think he did have Brad socks. Yep, he's got Brad socks, too. So... Pretty cool, and uh, if you want to go, like I said, his website is CryptoMan.com. Go check him out. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that the Crypto Man can sell you a pair of Brad Garlinghouse socks now. Thank you for listening.